Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyblock. Now, as you can probably see, I've done a decent amount of work, but we're just gonna ignore that. And for some reason, I'm getting tutorials again. But today, we've got a big project. You see, today, I'm getting villagers. And this is not like a situation like, you know, where I got past the mobs, where the first time I did it was a complete failure. Today, this video was not going out until I can get villagers. Now, in between episodes, I've done a bit of work. As you probably could have seen, I built grass over there. I also tamed this horse that appeared, and I have mined an absolutely crap ton of cobblestone. Like, I'm actually up to like 12,000 blocks, 12.5,000 blocks of cobblestone. I'm insane. But we're just gonna get to work, because there is work to be done. So basically, the way I do this is I get two zombie villagers, I get a witch, and I get two golden apples. What I then do is have a witch throw weakness potions on them, and then... Uh, I give them the gapple, I think, and then we're good. Now, the problem is, I need a witch and two zombie villagers. And then I can just breed the villagers, and we'll be good. But that's hard. You see, I have never been the type of guy to do villagers. So, really, I'm going in this just fresh. You know, I'm first time for everything. So, what I need to do is get a witch and get the zombie villagers. Uh, which is gonna be hard. That witch over there is now mine, but it has poisoned me. <laughs> okay. Um, this is not good. This is probably the closest I've been to dying in a long time. So, you know, I'm not entirely used to it. Um, but I need to do something about this. So the reason I need this witch, if I didn't already say it, is that witches, they throw weakness potions. And that is one of the things used to cure villagers. So, you know, what I need to do is get it to throw a weakness potion on my- Oh, gosh. Don't throw poison on my animals. What the heck? It's animal cruelty. So what's going on right now is this witch is currently trying to poison me over and over again, but it throws too far, which is thankfully causing me to not die. But, you know, <laughs> it could be worse. I'm just gonna leave you here and run. <laughs> so now what I need are zombie villagers. And it's currently night, uh, halfway through the night. So if I create uh, an unlit platform out here, I might be able to get some to spawn, but it will be hard. All right, we have one zombie and one skeleton. So it does spawn things. It's just not that efficient. All right, well, that thing wasn't working. And this thing, I'm pretty sure, doesn't have zombie villagers because I've never seen one. So what I've done is I have uh, made this room dark again that hopefully mobs will spawn and and maybe it'll work i'm pulling at straws here man you know i don't have much to go at you know what i'm just gonna turn on my music start a replay mod recording and i'll see you back in like 30 minutes i guess <laughs> Well, as you can probably tell by the scene behind me, I have taken quite a beating here. <laughs> so you see, a, uh, a zombie villager spawned in there. I went in to grab it with the boat, and then a creeper dropped instantly exploded on me. Then I came back, got my stuff out, and then another one was there. So I got the boat out, and as it was coming out, I exploded. Not gonna believe, another one spawned right after! So I've gotten one, um, but, but my, <laughs> my farm is completely destroyed. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably not getting that back in working order anytime soon. I've lost my, um, my diamond leggings, which I got from uh, the ancient city, which had mending on them. But, um, I got one villager, and it's a librarian, so, you know, not too bad. If this works, I'll be amazed, but also kind of disappointed. Ow. I'm actually gonna die. Stupid witch! Alright, there we go. There we go. Progress. Progress. Oh wait, it just got it. It just got it. It just got it, I think. It's working. It worked. It worked. It worked. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> this witch is going back into like solitary confinement. <laughs> Alright, that is how I'm gonna do it. 
That's actually a lot easier than the farm design. I'm sorry. <laughs> the same guy that made that is the same guy that made, you know, everything else I use, like my gold farm and the piglin bartering system I still haven't made. But, like, <laughs> I just used boats. <laughs> <gasps> there we go. We got one. And he still has neck problems. Okay. I need to get this guy to safety away from all the things that are going to try and kill him. Which is most of the things in this world. Oh, he's a fisherman. String for emeralds. And coal for... Alright, I'm not doing the coal for emeralds, but I think I can actually do the string for emeralds. So if I... Oh, wait, I just locked him into fishing. Alright, you know what? That's fine. I locked him into fishing, but I'll need one anyway. It's got a string trade. That's pretty good. You know what? I should check the, um, the room over there, because that should have been just, like, piling up with stuff this whole time. <gasps> oh my gosh. How? I, I need these guys to come through. Okay. Alright. I got- I can do this. I can do this. This is a rescue mission now. <gasps> I actually did it. Alright, let's get this guy over there. That was weakness. That was it. Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! I actually did it. Oh, hey buddy, welcome to the world of Skyblock, where you're probably going to be ending up trapped in a house for the rest of your life. Hope you enjoy it here. It's much better than being a zombie where you would have died, but you know, still. Hope you like it. <laughs> hey other villager, guess what? I got you a new friend. I hope you like him, and I hope you guys don't become mortal enemies, because if so, you guys still have to make baby villagers. <laughs> Alright, so, now I have these two villagers in here, which is awesome. Like. Two villagers. That's great. But now what? Well, I need a place to put them, and I'm not keeping them in my house. Well, I've come up with an amazing idea. This mob house, I guess, which has been here since the start of the series, like episode two, it's finally going to have a non-mob use. Because I am going to turn this into a villager breeding and trading center. All I need to do is get rid of all the mobs inside of it, which is... Easier said than done. A lot easier said than done. My island's gonna become a mess, but it's going to be worth it in the end when I don't have to deal with these. Oh my gosh! That that makes me mad. That's that's precious grass that got blown up down there. At least the animals didn't get killed. That would have been a lot worse. Oh. Oh no. I should not have killed all these sheep. <laughs> I, uh... I've just been killing all the sheep I see around the island, you know? Well, uh, t turns out my sheep did get killed by that creeper. Oh my gosh. And the leaves... Um... <laughs> How does this look? So far, the biggest building I believe I have, other than that, but that's not really a building, that's just a structure. Now, obviously, it is not finished by the fact it's missing most of its walls and the second floor, but it's good progress. The reason I stopped is because, you know, I ran out of oak logs, which are pretty central to the build. I would have continued if I had more, but, you know, I don't. <laughs> so, to quickly recap the episode so far, I have cured two villagers, tore down the mob room, and have started building up a new one for a villager trading hall. However, um, I also died and lost close to everything earlier in the episode. So, you know, it's been a bit rough. You know what I'm realizing? While I am building this, it's probably good to start breeding the villagers. <laughs> Let's just make a hut right here. Yeah. I still am looking for a new sheep around because I lost my old one, but, you know. Probably not gonna be around. <laughs> this might be the first episode to pass two hours in recording. And might be the first two-day episode, because I'm not sure I can finish all of this today. I'll, uh... So they should give... Uh, I'm not sure. I'll just leave them alone. 
All right, well, now that that's going, I guess I'll just start mining more wood. And you know what? I'm not even gonna show all this. Next time you see me, it's gonna be in the time lapse. So let's get started. Okay, so honestly, this is a massive project, and really, I did not plan for it. So I'm not gonna finish it today. But what I am gonna finish is... Actually, I don't... What am I... Sp I started that sentence without realizing what I was gonna start doing. I should stop doing that in the future. Oh, one thing I can do is I can check on our good friends over here and see if they've made a third villager. Um... They made two. How did you get out? Stop. Get back here. I mean, I have four villagers now, so really, if one of them dies, it doesn't matter. I'm not saying I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm just saying if what if he just happened to die, it wouldn't be a big problem. It also happens that there isn't a wall on the back of the trading hall. Hmm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this building is looking great, though. I'm glad I did it. One thing I did forget to do is rebuild the nether portal, because I had to deconstruct it. Um, so I guess it's just gonna go here now. It was... An absolute pain to destroy. More than likely, I'm gonna have to destroy it again. But, you know, for now, it'll be fine. I just hope it links up correctly. It would be really annoying if it did not link up correctly. It linked up correctly! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, um... Well, that's all I really wanted to do here. I'm heading back. Whew! That's dangerous. <laughs> well, you're probably not gonna believe it, but we have reached the two-hour mark of the episode. And that means I'm done. I really can't do much more than this. This is quite an episode, and probably it's only gonna get more from here. So in the future, we're gonna do some more with these villagers, finish the trading hall, and on episode 25, you have my word, we're gonna fight the Ender Dragon. So, you know, stick around, and hope you enjoy this series. I'll see you next time, and, um, you know, I would say there's soda, but there's not gonna be soda next time, so, you know, yeah.